Hello Nerdy Jurors, my name is Maria Park and this is Approach the Nerd. And this week's spotlight is going to be a little bit different from our normal content. We're going to talk about British mystery. Well, one in particular. I am a huge Agatha Christie and Sherlock Holmes fan. I'm also half British, so I always check out British shows when I see them on Netflix. And this one is right up my alley, except it's very strange. So the premise of the show, basically there is a DCI named Tom Barnaby who lives in the county of Midsummer, And the county has a lot of English villages incorporated under the umbrella of Midsummer. And they all have a very interesting hobby. And no, it's not playing cricket. It's not having afternoon tea. No, their interesting hobby is offing each other on a weekly basis. So this week, we are talking about Midsummer Murders. So now that I've given you a little background on the TV series, how about we talk about the actual county of Midsummer, specifically its people. So what I've learned is besides Barnaby's marriage, everyone else's marriage sucks. I also have learned that people like to kill each other for extremely petty reasons. It doesn't matter if it's somebody grows flowers better than me, you owe me money, you're sleeping with my spouse, it's your family member, a friend, a person you've barely met, heck, even tourists have gotten it. This county does not discriminate on who they kill. And oh boy, are they good at killing. And always creatively. Okay, so something else that I don't understand is real estate. So if you know that your neighbors are killing each other, why would you move there? But see, that's what happens in Midsummer. It's kind of like the movie series Friday the 13th. I mean, we all know that Camp Crystal Lake is bad. Counselors die every year, some kids go missing, but yet for some reason, every year, parents send their children back. That is bad parenting, by the way. So then, if you're going with a realtor to visit a house, and it's a house you know normally you cannot afford, but suddenly it's on the market at a reasonable price, that's already suspicious. But then you find out it's because everyone on your block gets murdered on a weekly basis, but yet you still choose to move there. I don't get it. I just, I don't get it. So something else I learned about Midsummer is to never accept gifts from anyone. And you certainly do not want to walk any of your animals out ever anywhere. And if you happen to be in an unhappy marriage and you're not treating your spouse very well, then they may turn around and retaliate by not only watching you die, but giving the killer pointers on how he or she may kill you more efficiently and faster. So I'm also confused on how everyone in the town, regardless of age, has excellent cardio. Because you have to in order to decapitate someone and encase their head in chocolate which is what happens a lot. Well, not the chocolate and decapitation, but similar in Midsummer. So I don't care if you're disabled in this series. I don't care if you're 103. Somehow you're able to carry these bodies to different locations and place them in positions where it looks like somebody else murdered them or they, it was an accident or whatever. It is very weird. I want to know what their exercise and their diet regime is so I can incorporate that for myself because it is on point. And something else that's very confusing about the Midsummer Murder series, and that is the number of therapists, psychiatrists, alternate medicine doctors they have had on this series and how none of them have been able to stop these people in these villages from killing each other. Like their form of communication is via a fire poker, an ax, and a baseball bat. Like they go out of their way to solve and resolve all conflicts with murder. It is very interesting. So either these therapists and these doctors have gotten all of their credentials online in imaginary schools, 
are there in some towns that they probably should get the heck out of immediately. So the next time you're bored and you want to find something to watch on Netflix, check out Midsummer Murders with its beauty and English countryside charm. It's overfriendly villagers, it's occasional conflict, and of course, it's weekly murders, probably telling up to 330 at this point, making this fictional county the highest grossing murder capital in all of the UK. And there you have it, our spotlight on Midsummer Murders. What do you think? Leave us a comment below and let us know. And if you'd like to be signed up for jury duty, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to know who's next on the ballot, hit the notification bell. Until next time, I can't wait for you to approach the nerd. And if you have time, make sure to check out some of our other videos.